Uh, hey guys, so today we're going to be doing another YouTube video, Cheese Stick Challenge Part 2, because of popular demand, I've been getting death threats to do it. Um, joking, but seriously, a lot of people started yelling at me to do it. So we are going to be doing the Cheese Stick Challenge Part 2. It's going to be pretty great. We're going to pretty much just improve upon it in every way. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a quick salsa. Uh, so I'm just going to chop up these tomatoes. Yeah, I'm sorry for not uploading for a very long time. I haven't really had great motivation and uh, tried, recorded a few different types of videos. None of them really seemed good enough to me, so I chose not to upload them. All right, so now that we've cut off, cut up all of our tomatoes and seeded them, next thing we've got to do is cut up our onion, red onion right here. It's, but you can also, you can store red onions like this. You just have to chop off some of the part before you use it. So we're just going to chop off a good chunk. Chop off this part, the dry part. Chop off the core a bit. And this part, and then. We just leave it like this because we're gonna food pro we're gonna use a food processor on it. Oh, that's probably not enough because we've lost a lot of it. Probably take a bit more. Something like that, like that. Chop this back off. This is our onion. We're going to use food processor on it later, so we don't have to chop it off that much, chop it at all. Next, we have our some cilantro for our salsa. It's washed. Uh, we're just gonna. Uh, Take off a good bit, and yeah, leave it like that. And then we have all the components for our salsa. Now, we're going to be using a food processor. All right, so we've got our food processor all set up. So the way you do this is, first thing you want to do is throw in your onion, your cilantro. You don't want to chop it up all the way. You want to still leave them in a bit too big chunks. You put in your tomatoes. Put these back on and mix it until you get it into a consistency that you like. And now we have our beautiful salsa right there. And now you have to flavor it so we can scoop it out into a bowl. Now all I need to do is add some flavoring. Now I just want to cut a lime, get it. Get most of it in. Get the juice in there. <laughs> Might be a bit difficult. Just want to get most of the juice from the lime in there. Yeah, so this is gonna make a very nice and tasty salsa. And you want to now the salsa is going to be very watery, and adding salt isn't really going to help that issue at all. You just want to add in some salt for flavoring, quite a bit. Makes it taste nice. Just mix it up. And you're going to notice that there's a ton of liquid in the salsa, so you want to try to just so that, let this sit. Don't strain out the liquid right now because more will come out when you do the salt. So just taste it for flavoring after you mix it up nicely. Mm, yeah, that's a great salsa. All right, we bought our salsa. Next order of operations it is guacamole. We're gonna use some avocados real quick. So we're going to make some quick guacamole now. Very similar to the salsa, but different. This avocado has got a massive seed. <laughs> Look at this seed. <laughs> That's a golf ball. All right. And let's just score it. Uh, so we're gonna use two avocados because one won't, definitely won't be enough. We've got our avocados now. We need a bowl. All right, so we've got our avocado. Now we need to chop up our, another red, a bit of red onion. So just take off a good chunk of that. Just like that. We need to actually chop up this one, by the way. So just take this. Chop it up real quick. All right, so now we've got our chopped up onion. We just throw it into our avocado. And we need a bit more cilantro too. 
Some people say cilantro tastes like soap. I say those people have bad genetics. We've got the cilantro, we've got the onions. We just need the lime now. Cut out the second lime. So, we got some guacamole. It looks very tasty already. We just have to mix it up now. So you just want to mix it up nicely, crush it up, just get it all nice and mixed in there. Make a great guacamole. And then yeah, you've got super easy guacamole and salsa right there. Look at that. Super easy guacamole and salsa. All right, so now we are actually going to make the actual cheese sticks. So I'm going to be doing a slightly different approach this time. I'm going to wrap the cheese in some egg roll skins. Yes, so they don't like spill out everywhere like it did last time. We have some fresh made mozzarella this time. I thought it would taste nicer. I'll video for that coming soon if I feel like it. Yeah, I tried recording it once and it didn't work out. But yes, we are going to be cutting these up into nice little sticks. Fresh made mozzarella is actually great. Yeah, it's really, it's pretty easy to make for cheese. Tastes way better than the store-bought stuff. And yeah, it's just really fun, pretty like interesting to make too. It's pretty good learning experience. So we're just going to cut these up into little strips like this. This much should be enough. Now we're going to just roll up this, these cheap pieces of cheese like this. And boom, we have our egg roll cheese sticks. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? All right, so five more. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna make five of these because they're bigger than usual. All right, so we have made our egg roll cheese sticks. Uh, we actually we actually cut up the perfect amount of cheese. Now we just have to deep fry these up. All right, so now we are going to fry up our cheese sticks. We're going to shallow fry them. I've got them right over here. We're going to yeah, just drop these into the oil. I then on a slightly lower flame than usual. I'm gonna make it a bit higher though. Yeah, this is perfect. You want, you want it to be a bit slower because mozzarella cheese takes a bit of time to uh, soften up and melt. And you want to just fry it up until golden brown on each side. So yeah, just let these fry up for a few minutes. As you can see, these are pretty awesome looking golden brown now. We're going to transfer these out of the heart, the deep, the pan, and put them on the off screen uh, plate with some paper towels on them to get some of the oil off. Yeah, some of the cheese has leaked out. Should be fine though. Alright, so our cheese sticks are done. We're going to assemble them now on the plate. And it's they're beautiful golden brown. Would you look at that? Oh, I'll cut this part out of the video, Leo. That, cut the part where I showed the cheese sticks out of the video. That that looked horrible. No. No, I don't think I will. All right, so this is great. So now we that we have our cheese sticks, they look pretty great. They're like these golden brown little things. And we need to quickly grab our buffalo sauce. All right, no buffalo sauce, I messed it up. So here are our cheese sticks. They're beautiful. Um, they've got fresh mozzarella cheese. We also made some guacamole and salsa. They're gonna taste pretty great. And yeah, that's thanks for watching, guys. Um, we're gonna have these for dinner and see how they, see how they taste. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.